guys ever looked at an old family photo or a home video and thought, wow, that's not quite how I remember it, right? Well, you're not alone. Today, we are diving into how AI can restore and upscale old photos and videos. And the results honestly surprise me. I'm going to be using a tool called Video Proc Converter AI, and we're going to see if it can breathe new life into the past. So stick around, I'll be back in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seen Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech. So if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, here's the deal. I've got a few old photos and videos that have definitely seen better days. They're grainy, soft, and full of noise. Now, Video Proc Converter AI says it can restore and upscale them using AI super resolution and image AI. I mean, the idea that instead of just stretching pixels, it uses AI to intelligently recreate detail, almost like teaching your footage what it should look like. Sounds interesting? It is. Now, before we get into it, DJRT reached out to me and asked me to take a look at Video Proc Converter AI and give it my honest review. And guys, you know that whatever I review, you're always going to get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So guys, first up, let's take a look at some of these old photos. Now, here's a perfect example of what we're working with, an old photo that's definitely seen a few decades. You can see it's a little faded with a pinkish tint and some grain across the whole image. I mean, the contrast is low and the details like fabric, texture and faces are all blurring together. It's got that vintage charm, of course it has, but it's clearly lost a bit of clarity over time. Now, let's load this into Video Proc Converter AI. We're gonna choose the Image AI function and the Gen Detail AI model. Now, I'm gonna set it to four times upscale and immediately you can see that the image is a lot more detailed and some of the harshness has gone. You can use the side-by-side -side comparison or you can switch to the slider. Actually, the slider is my favorite because that really gives you a chance to see in absolute detail the differences. Now, let's add color and tone restoration. We're going to click that checkbox and look at that. It's put all of the color back in, but not just the color, but the tint as well. I mean, it hasn't oversaturated it with modern colors. It's used AI to add colors that would be from the same era. I mean, that is pretty cool, right? I mean, it's simply amazing that it used AI to rebuild the missing fine details, edges, skin tones, fabrics, textures, instead of just brightening or sharpening like a normal photo editor would. Now guys, here's another one, a beautiful old wedding photo. You can see that it's got that warm kind of charm to it. Again, a little bit faded and you know what? Yes, I agree, it kind of gives it character, but it's also lost a lot of detail. The whites in the dress are slightly yellowed, the background's a bit soft, and you can spot some light scratches across the image. It's the kind of photo you'd really want to restore without losing that vintage charm. Again, first things first, let's apply the same Gen 3 model, and you can see that everything gets a lot sharper. And then, you know, we can use that slider to go back and forth again, and you can see that level of detail where it's changed. And, you know, again, simply amazing through one click. Now, click on that color and tone restoration, and boom, look at the difference. I mean, it's like night and day. The faces look sharper, the fabric pattern on the dress has reappeared, like the lace and everything, and the overall tone feels much more natural. It's cleaned up all of that noise without making it look plastic or over filtered. You can even see how the lighting and shadows feel truer to life now. It's almost like the photo was taken yesterday. 
Okay guys, last example, and this time I'm gonna use a video clip. I'm gonna to switch to super resolution. Now this clip is a small 640 by 360 clip. It's not terrible, but you can see that it's clearly low res. Now I'm gonna choose the four times upscale and from the AI model, I'm gonna choose Gen 3 again. I mean, you can see that, you know, all of these AI models, reality, anime, general, depending on your footage. I mean, I've tried them all. And for this one, again, like I said, I'm going to use the Gen Detail V3 as it worked best on this clip, preserving all the natural textures and detail. Now, whether it's photos or whether it's video, you can export your newly upscaled content. I'm going to export this video. And after a few seconds, here we go. I've got both copies now playing them back side by side and looking at the textures you can see just how well the AI model interpreted the original video and upscaled the copy I mean it's pretty amazing stuff so guys after testing it on some photos and videos I've got to say video prop converter AI does a fantastic job of enhancing your content without overdoing it it's one of the easiest ways I found to restore personal content making them ready for today's screens if you're like me and you've got decades of memories on old drives this is one tool that's worth checking out and you can learn more by visiting this link and guys at the time there is a limited 67% discount right now. You can grab a lifetime license and a buy one get four free deal with unlimited upgrades and free gifts again at this link. I'm going to leave both of those links in the description. And guys, if you have any questions or comments, then please leave them below. And if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching and thanks to DigiArty for sending me this really cool, useful software to review. I'm Dave with Scenes for a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.